irritating. You just cut up my Koshche, the result of much labor. Now to resolve this matter through more traditional means. I can't wait. My, how threatening that sounded. I warned you, pissing up wind leads to disaster. You talk too much. Scared? This time you pissed in a tornado. Kill him!
Your turn, Javed. I learned long ago only to rely on myself. Before I kill you, you must know. A heavily armed unit will kill all wounded in the hospital and make that red-headed bitch watch. After they rape her, she will wish to die, but it will be far too late. We'll give her mutagens and see what happens. What say you, Witcher? Still the indifferent tough guy? You're bluffing. You send assassins after me, conjure up beautiful words, threaten to kill me. But you're scared to death and simply postponing the inevitable. Alar Zar Bintala. Berengar? I was afraid I'd be late. Can you use a hand? For a second there, I wasn't sure if... I'm surprised to see you. I needed to think. Coward, you know the punishment you face. You can evade it by slaying Geralt of Rivia. You may earn my mercy. Your threats don't impress me anymore. Prepare, sorcerer. I've come here for you. We'll meet again, White Wolf. Berenger made his decision. He knew where Javed was hiding. He also knew I'd find the sorcerer sooner or later. He knew that facing Javed alone was suicide for either of us.
Javed, can you hear me? What's going on? How are the experiments progressing? I urgently need those mutated knights of the Order in Vizima, and send me more failed ones. At this stage, I can afford no delays. Respond! Javed's dead. Which a Geralt? Expect to see me, Grandmaster. Soon. Geralt, you're here. Are you all right? I told you I could handle them. What happened below? I'll tell you later. Geralt. The leader of Salamandra is dead. Great. Learn anything about who's behind Salamandra? Yes. The Order of the Flaming Rose. Oh, lords. But that means... Exactly. We need to return to Vizima and inform the King. I saw a boat at the dock. Let's meet there. Good. Come with me. We'll speak later. Geralt. What do you know about the Grand Master? He's very charismatic, with a talent for magic of the wild kind. Wild? Like a source, he uses the power intuitively. He had no mentor and attended no magic academies. I checked. He probably tamed the power through tremendous discipline, typical of religious sectarians. How powerful is he? Hard to say. He shields himself well. Geralt. Ready to cross? Yes, you? Grab the oars. Sire, victory. Despite heavy losses, we now control the trade quarter. Excellent. What news from De Wet? He's dead. Cut down by that godless butcher, the Witcher. Useless De Wet. Have the town criers informed the people Adder has become a Strigger? Yes, but the Witcher found the beast. Geralt of Rivia. Only he stands between me and... We must fan the flames of chaos. Release more of our experiments. 
and let the elves wreak havoc. Grandmaster, I must protest, as a nobleman and representative of- Enough. Give the people more food, and tell them any God-fearing human can find shelter at the castle of the Order of the Flaming Rose. Adalbert, I thank you for your loyal service. Take him away. A new era dawns. An era of superhumans. None will stop me. I appoint you my new adjutant. Know your assignment? Kill the Witcher. Then go. Geralt, you've arrived at a moment that should be called nothing short of historic. Dandelion, I'm glad you're alive too, but I have important matters. More important than a Temerian redaining alliance with far-reaching consequences? Stop being dramatic and tell me what's happening. Allow me some common courtesy. Triss, my joy at this meeting. Triss, tell this clown to get to the point. So what's this historic moment, Dandelion? With the kingdom in flames, Foltest struck a deal with his neighbors. Doubtless with that ambitious pup Radovid of Redania. Geralt, Foltest should learn of the Grand Master's betrayal. We need to talk to the king. We need to hurry. Ah, send me the crown. Welcome, Witcher. Sire. We have several things to discuss. Of course. Stop deliberating, son. We need to put out the fire in this whorehouse. You'll get the princess's hand, and if life has taught me anything, half the kingdom as soon as I'm gone. As for de Aldersburg, we need to be rid of him. The Witcher will slay him. What? Relax, we'll pay you as much as you want. I'm a witcher, not a hit. All right, 10,000. Isn't that a bit much? Come on, Foltest, the kingdom's worth a lot more than that. Yes, I suppose the boy's right. But you shall take home 8,000. It's a deal. So, we're all agreed. Radovid, your armies must subdue the order in Redania and in the north of my lands. My armies will embark on a mission of fraternal assistance. I don't want any fucking fraternal assistance. The phrase rubs me the wrong way. You are to smash the Knights of the Order and withdraw. Relax, Foltest. My children will rule this land. I don't intend to destroy it. <clears throat> Forgive me, Your Majesties, but I feel it's time I... One more thing, Witcher. Yes? So, let's talk politics. And don't you dare mention neutrality. Judging by your company, you're already involved. Possibly up to your nose. Sire. Your wish is my command. To the average pleb in the street, the Order is fighting my armies, but make no mistake. This is a confrontation between me and the Grand Master, that ambitious fanatic. Directed all of Salamandra's actions and intentionally provoked the uprising. What do you mean? I thought you'd be interested, sire. Very interested. The son of a bitch is attacking me with steel, poison and magic. It is time for you to choose your allies. And you must choose well, sire. <laughs> I see our sweet sorceress has already begun indoctrinating you. I believe it's time we finalized our agreement, sire. I will counsel and support you with wise words and magic. And with that of your esteemed female friends? Indeed you may. But don't forget, Merigold, I rule this bordello. Don't turn into Philippa. You're too pretty for that. King, sorceress and witcher united against evil. Worthy of a painting. But all will be lost if we delay any longer. Sire, one other matter. Witcher? How is Ada feeling? Much better than she was as a Strigger. Yet she won't be herself again for some time. Witcher, how can I thank you? I'm glad Ada is alive and well. Can you ensure that the Witcher's friends will be the same, Sire? Yes, that's something I can promise. Witcher, I wish to know who was behind all this. Duet transformed the princess. How so? 
He wanted to gain influence with your enemies. The bastard! If I could get my hands on him! Those responsible assumed your position would be undermined if the princess wreaked havoc as a strigger. Duet has been punished. I'm glad to hear it. Now go. Vizima is burning, fighting rages. You won't have an easy time of it. People see witchers as monster slayers. Rightly so. Few know we draw greater satisfaction from removing a curse or a spell. Swords are a final resort. As long as there was a chance I could save the princess, I had to try. It was worth it. Yes. Wouldn't mind a drink? Then Bold Foltest uttered these words. Virtuous Radovid. What the hell is that? I'm trying to keep a faithful and accurate record of these events. He said, stop deliberating, son. We need to put out the fire in this whorehouse. Geralt, you have no sense of poetry. There's the truth of time and the truth of legend. You'll never change. The pen is mightier than the sword. And you'll never change either. Off to save the world again when nobody's asked you. Forgive me, but I must fulfill my chronicler's duty. I need to finish something. I understand. Good luck. Move, Geralt! I don't want to fight! Then don't force me. Stand aside. I have my orders. We must save this kingdom! Then leave the civilians alone and fight the real enemy. True. We must fight the real enemy. Those elven rejects. Boys! Form up! And the civilians? They better leave. People! Flee this place! Your king may provide shelter in these terrible times. Leave if you value your lives. Come inside, it's safer. You're right.
ในแนวอูกรีตติ้งส์อื่นสิ้นสุดไปในสงครามเหล่านี้ไม่ต้องพักนานเราต้องไปที่มหาสมุทรสิ่งนี้ของคุณคือการเลือกที่จะศรัทธาต่อความร้อนไฟฮึมไม่มีความหมายในการเดินทางออกไปในถนนคุณจะตายไปแล้วมีอีกทางไหมลองหาประตูในถนนที่ไหนมันจะไปถึงทางอื่นและประตูอื่นก็จะไปถึงที่นี่ฉันไม่แน่ใจว่าจะเป็นอย่างไรแต่ฉันไม่แน่ใจว่าจะเป็นอย่างไรเราต้องรีบไปที่นี่ที่นี่ถนนอยู่ในถนนสวัสดีดวอฟสงครามเป็นสะดวกถ้าไม่เป็นเพราะที่ข้าราชการจ่ายภาษีให้พวกเขาทำมันแล้วทำไมคุณมาที่นี่ไม่เห็นไหมนายทหารโซลเจอร์และสกายเทลรันไปทั่วถนนขัดเลือกผู้ที่เขาสามารถฉันเป็นเจ้าของทุกคนฉันเห็นแล้วทุกหัวหน้าถูกผลิตด้วยปรัชญาเดสตินีสิ่งแปลกแปลกและอีกหนึ่งเรื่องไม่มีใครจะพูดกับฉันขอโทษที่ได้ยินแต่ฉันต้องไปแล้วไปเถอะ You here? On an important mission for the king. Praiseworthy. I too wish to offer Faltas my services as an advisor in these difficult times. Sadly, I could not get through burning Vizima. I need to get to the monastery. I have learned much about a phenomenon of interest to you, the wild hunt. Tell me. In folk culture, the king of the wild hunt embodies death. He is the one who takes away souls. He is oft considered as the tool of destiny. Destiny. The wild hunt is an omen of war and tragedy. It has oft been seen recently near Vizima. Beware. I must go. Farewell. The squirrels and the order, those dry ones, disturb our swamp. Between a rock and a hard place, huh? I had a dream, white-haired one. Your destiny will be fulfilled. I come to tell you. Mistake not the stars with their reflection in a pond's surface. I'll remember that. Greetings, Witcher. Greetings. I'm afraid. The time for contempt has come, just as prophesied. What do you have in mind? No, it's Lean's prophecy. Not exactly. The war with Nilfgaard proved it, for if Lean foretold the blood of Enseid of elves would drench the land. People thought the age of the sword and axe, the age of the wolf's blizzard, had arrived. Know the rest? Not sure. Then listen. The time of white frost and white light approaches. The time of madness and disdain. Ted Dayred, the end of ages. The world will perish in frost. Enough pessimism. The prophecy has now begun. Depends on us. Farewell. May Melitele protect you. I don't care about prophecies. I care about the lives of ordinary people. I know you care about people. I saw Carmen happy with the captain of the guards. You know they got married. Nice to hear. Carmen endured a lot. She lived in the outskirts. Her father was a priest of the Eternal Fire, a damnable man of religion. When Carmen got pregnant, he cast her out. She went to Vizima. You know how that ended. I didn't know. Stupid game. Enjoy your. Water lords, have mercy. Greetings, Witcher. Greetings. I'm afraid, the time for contempt has come, just as prophesied. Farewell.
double approaches. Don't kill me, Witcher. Well, a talking ghoul. I'm a mutant, as are you. Born with the gift of speech and an intelligence like that of humans. I know many intelligent monsters that are deadly. I am a threat only to those who threaten me. Let's say I believe you. I'm calmed. Why are you here? I no longer need to hide in the cemetery. It's safer here. I come out at night, find food in the streets. Can't complain. The inhabitants of this home have no objection? They fear me. The little brat comes alone, talks without end. I must go. Farewell. We need to hurry. Away. There were monsters in the cellar. I'll die anyway. They'll find me. They'll get me. Calm down. How do we get out? Through the window. Thanks.
So you live. The sight of you sickens me. I'm in no mood for riddles. Teruviel is dead. I know enough to blame you for her death. You certainly played a part. Open your eyes, Yavin. Your beloved war killed her. Stop drowning the world in blood. Try building for a change. Humans, elves, dwarves, we all hate. We all kill. This cannot go on. The fail, Wolf. We'll have to get dirty. The only way to the monastery leads through the sewers. The Order doesn't guard it? Not since Azugal made its nest there. A big one. It's had a lot of fresh meat. I hope it hasn't had time to procreate. I doubt it found a mate. Azugals don't need mates. They're hermaphrodites.
It's somewhere in the sewers. Any advice? Don't get eaten. I'm serious. Stay out of range of its tentacles. Zoogles harbor all kinds of contagion. If you have any spells against infection... I should have. Let's go.
I'm right behind you, Geralt. Typical. A mob led by a madman. Again, someone will have to decide for them. This time, it'll be us. I'd rather they made their own decisions. Are you sure that's what they want? We need to give them the chance. Let's go.
Almost there. We'll find Jacques de Aldersburg in the monastery. Damn, I'm out of potions. Could I ask you to... Geralt, what would you do without me? Wait here. I'll be back in a blink. Halt! No passage! Grand Master's orders! I'm here on a matter of national importance. Shove off! The Grand Master seeks solitude. Sorry, you give me no choice. Behold, my people. They feast at my table, find warmth at my fire, and glow with happiness to be separated from the turmoil of war. You're deluded if you think the sight of women and children will make me leave you alone. I do not intend to deceive you. The white frost approaches, a cataclysm that will bury the world beneath snow and ice. Each night, I dream of icy wastelands and the death of the old civilizations. I've heard Ithlina's prophecy. The cataclysm is unavoidable. Kings prefer to wage local wars to expand their influence, while elves have become terrorists fighting for a lost cause. The world needs a savior, a man of the moment, someone to kindle the flame in people's hearts. You, savior of the world. Come, I will show you something. Humans are weak, frail, and inclined toward evil. I shall create a new man, perfect, tempered in the eternal fire. Finished? Because if you are... You doubt me? I do not blame you. I had my doubts too. Yet now, my vision is strong. Behold. The scales will fall from your eyes, and you will understand. Juggler's tricks. I expected more. You think this an illusion? Oh no, Geralt, it's nothing of the sort. Where are we? See for yourself. Follow me.
Now that you have seen the ice-encased towers of Vizima, do you understand? You're rambling to Aldersburg. What do you want? This is the future. The White Frost has destroyed human civilization. This is the end of time. Do we lose heart, surrender? Never. We can yet avoid our fate. Save your rhetoric for the plebs. Understand. The Order and Salamandra acted only to save humanity. Every criminal claims a higher cause. You lack humility. Time for a lesson in some. Are you all right? You? Here? How? That is the nature of this place. This place or this time? More a vision born in the mind of the Grand Master. Flashes of the future colored by his fears and beliefs. You may encounter strange things, the consequences of your decisions. There's nothing behind us but a blizzard, and nothing beyond it but death. As long as I get the Grand Master at the end. I'll follow, in case you need help. Changed a bit, Witcher. Again, you emerge from nowhere to kill humans. What humans? As always, you're perplexing. Behold the remains of humanity. Ape men, wretched creatures worthy of disdain. Some my own great grandchildren. They're human? The White Frost has stripped humanity of its luxurious robes. All that's left are beasts that think only of eating and procreating. They are human no longer. 
Their base instincts drive them like the lynch mob from which you saved me. I'm grateful. Take my gift. I see you have met our degenerate great-grandchildren. Do you understand now why you cannot oppose my plan? You have yet to say how all this ice justifies your crimes. Only a grand plan pursued without hesitation could save humanity from what I saw in my visions. Trust your daydreams that much? I never asked for these visions, this gift. But you chose how to use it. Many times you insisted special gifts should be used for just causes. I chose the most just of causes, saving millions of lives. And pursued it by ending hundreds of others. How many more do you aim to condemn? You have no notion of the approaching cataclysm. The spirits of those who perished wander here. Tell them they had no right to survive. thoughts always come too late. As if I had a choice. You never knew feelings that controlled your every step. There's always choice. How can you remain so confident as you stride into fate's jaws? I cannot bring myself to leave you here.
Do you finally understand, obstinate witcher? Humanity will perish. The few who remain will become animals. My plan would avoid this. What plan, dammit? The human nations can only survive the cold through a mass exodus south. With you leading them? I'm prepared to do so. I see the future. I command respect. I would rule well. Of course, I had to get rid of any standing in the way, especially non-humans. Why so obsessed about other races? Geralt, they are condemned to perish. I gave them a chance to die in battle. Humanity's also a passing phase. But unlike elves, we won't leave much behind. We won't disappear, not with the guardians I created. You'll see soon enough how well they manage in these conditions. You thought you could stand aside. I wanted no part of politics. I'm a witcher. I'm neutral. We fought for those we love. You scorn that, for you'll never understand it. A machine created to kill. You had no choice. Your time has passed. You're obsolete. The world has no use for you. Lay down your sword and rest, Geralt. Have the courage to face me, Jacques. Stop hiding behind specters and illusions. I'll find you. You won't get the chance.
Look, Alvin. An illusion, Shani. How stubborn you are. I could use you to shepherd my sheep during the first years of winter. I doubt you mean it. You stole our secrets from Kaer Morin, used them for the worst ends. I needed witches, but knew the secrets of mutation had been lost. You witches had it all, but lacked courage and vision. I merely did what you desired in your hearts. You took them as if they were your own. You're a thief, a hypocrite. Are you incapable of seeing the golden path of my dreams? My knights will explain it to you in a way you will understand. Look, Geralt. Humans, monsters. Easy to mistake one for the other. True, Your Highness. I should know, wouldn't you say? The Grand Master is clearly a madman. Even I wouldn't dare pursue a plan like his. We must stop him. Milady, your wish is my command. You have class, a rare quality. I wish to fight alongside you. Call it a whim.
alone. Why? None can enter the heart of the vision besides you. The Grand Master won't allow it. Very well. Thank you. Be safe. Now, do you see the need to act, whatever the price? Geralt, open your eyes, open your mind. They treat people like you at St. Libiota's Hospital. By pursuing me, you proved me right. You faced the dangers that humanity faces and survived. Jacques de Aldersburg, your dream is over. Patience. You may yet change your mind. Imagine thousands traversing an icy wasteland. Could you defend them? You and a handful of witches ridden with doubt, like Berengar? Impossible. Only the greater brothers can do that. But they need to be taught and led. They need you. I also have an offer. Surrender. Withdraw your mutants. Humble yourself before the king. You'll save many lives. How confident you seem. A painful lesson awaits.
You haven't changed a bit, Witcher. Again, you emerge from nowhere to kill him. What human? Behold their human. The white f- their base- I see you have met our degenerate great-grandchildren. Do you understand now why you cannot oppose my plan? You have yet to say how all this ice justifies your crimes. Only a grand plan pursued without hesitation could save humanity from what I saw in my visions. Trust your daydreams that much? I never asked for these visions, this gift. But you chose how to use it. Many times you insisted special gifts should be used for just causes. I chose the most just of causes, saving millions of lives. And pursued it by ending hundreds of others. How many more do you aim to condemn? You have no notion of the approaching cataclysm. The spirits of those who perished wander here. Tell them they had no right to survive.
Murderers never know peace. Those thoughts always come too late. As if I had a choice. You never knew feelings that controlled your every step. I know it's hard to act contrary to your feelings. We're toys in the hands of fate. Before it casts us apart, accept my gift. Do you finally understand, obstinate witcher? Humanity will perish. The few who remain will become animals. My plan would avoid this. What plan, dammit? The human nations can only survive the cold through a mass exodus south. With you leading them? I'm prepared to do so. I see the future. I command respect. I would rule well. Of course, I had to get rid of any standing in the way, especially non-humans. Why so obsessed about other races? Geralt, they are condemned to perish. I gave them a chance to die in battle. Humanity's also a passing phase. But unlike elves, we won't leave much behind. We won't disappear, not with the guardians I created. You'll see soon enough how well they manage in these conditions.
You thought you could stand aside. I wanted no part of politics. I'm a witcher. I'm neutral. We fought for those we love. You scorn that, for you'll never understand it. A machine created to kill. You had no choice. Your time has passed. You're obsolete. The world has no use for you. Lay down your sword and rest, Geralt. Have the courage to face me, Jacques. Stop hiding behind specters and illusions. I'll find you. You won't get the chance. Surrender! How stubborn you are. I could use you to shepherd my sheep during the first years of winter. I doubt you mean it. You stole our secrets from Kaer Morin, used them for the worst ends. I needed witches, but knew the secrets of mutation had been lost. You witches had it all, but lacked courage and vision. I merely did what you desired in your hearts. You took them as if they were your own. You're a thief, a hypocrite. Are you incapable of seeing the golden path of my dreams? My knights will explain it to you in a way you will understand.
Look, Geralt. Humans, monsters. Easy to mistake one for the other. True, Your Highness. I should know, wouldn't you say? The Grand Master is clearly a madman. Even I wouldn't dare pursue a plan like his. We must stop him. Milady, your wish is my command. You have class, a rare quality. I wish to fight alongside you. Call it a whim. alone. Why? None can enter the heart of the vision besides you. The Grand Master won't allow it. Very well. Thank you. Be safe.
Now, do you see the need to act, whatever the price? Geralt, open your eyes, open your mind. They treat people like you at St. Lebiota's Hospital. By pursuing me, you proved me right. You faced the dangers that humanity faces and survived. Jacques de Aldersburg, your dream is over. Patience. You may yet change your mind. Imagine thousands traversing an icy wasteland. Could you defend them? You and a handful of witches ridden with doubt, like Berengar? Impossible. Only the greater brothers can do that. But they need to be taught and led. They need you. I also have an offer. Surrender. Withdraw your mutants. Humble yourself before the king. You'll save many lives. How confident you seem. A painful lesson awaits. Now they treat by Jacques de patient impossible. Enough. Our swords will speak for us. How confident you seem. A painful lesson awaits.
Salamandra is dying, soon to be a memory. Salamandra means nothing. It was but a particle of chaos, the tool of the madman you just slew. Your past, your destiny, the reasons for your resurrection, all remain unknown. Words, words, words. You've always used them ably to mask uncertainty and fear. I once promised I would follow you. Gibberish, Spectre. Tell me what you want or disappear. Reflect on your deeds, Witcher. I stood near you when you arrived at Kaer Morhen, an omen of its downfall. I observed as you judged the villagers of the outskirts, leaving only blood and fire behind you. You passed through Vizima like a sword through a heart. Accusing others, destroying lives, mindful of nothing but your own purpose, to be achieved whatever the means. You slaughtered dozens with your witch's sword. You helped create the foundations for the Order's fanatical reign. You left Vizima in chaos, only to bring destruction upon murky waters. Every one of your decisions brought further devastation. Each choice you made led to greater evil. Vizima blazes. The Order and the Skoyatal bleed, Temeria. Does your neutrality not taste bitter? Stop. Do not deny it, Witcher. You are my greatest champion, a perfect means of destruction. Wherever you walk, death and chaos follow. Now, as it was years ago, accept it. Do not fight it. Give up to me yet another man you destroyed. Jacques de Aldersberg is mine. You dare to oppose me? I sense your weakness as your life seeps 
from your wounds. With every drop, death draws nearer. You stand no chance against me. Yield to me. Never. This is between him and me. You aim to kill him anyway. True, but for my reasons, and they are nothing to you. Clear off while you can. Go before it's too late. You want to fight me? So be it. Your flight from death ends here. Draw your sword. I was afraid you'd suggest chess.
That sword is for monsters. You're awake, Geralt. I was getting worried. Dandelion? Where's the Grand Master? A few steps away. He's dead. For a minute there, I thought you were gone too. Hardly a pleasant nap. Was I out long? Long enough. The fighting has been quelled. Foltas has regained control. However, Triss supported him. The effects have been shocking. Is she alright? She's fine. She stayed by you until I arrived. Then she had to go. You know, political duties. Caught between the king, her sorceress friends, and her personal life. What about you? Did you succeed? Yes. I'll take the final element from Jacques and close this chapter. Take what's yours, Witcher. You earned it. So, did you recover everything? Know what I found on the Grand Master? A Dimeridium pendant. The one you gave Alvin? I don't know. It looks the same, but older. He must have worn it under his armor for years. A true keepsake, perhaps. Maybe it was his way of repelling hostile magic. Or it was there to control inborn abilities, unrelenting visions. That's something we'll never know. It doesn't matter. Jacques de Aldersburg, if that was his name, is dead. End of story. What's next, Geralt? What do you mean? Come now. You've recovered what was stolen, punished those who hurt you, you played politics and dismantled conspiracies. You've loved, you've killed, you've come a long way, Geralt. What do you intend to do now? I'm tired, Dandelion. I want peace and quiet. As I thought. I've known you for years and never seen such fatigue in your eyes. People expected too much of you. Yet as always, you rose to the challenge, no matter how unreasonable it seemed. Don't get me wrong. I'm overjoyed to be able to talk to you again. But perhaps you should have stayed there, on the Isle of Avalok. Seems I'll never find rest. What can I say? Godspeed on your path, Witcher. It seemed the conflict between the Order of the Flaming Rose and the Scoia'tael would turn Vizima into charred ruins. Foltest, however, found a solution. He let the two sides bleed each other. The Order's power waned quickly following the Grand Master's mysterious death. The flower of elven youth perished. Fighting in Vizima's streets, there were no victors. The non-human uprising weakened Temeria, and Foltest realized he would need capable diplomats. Chris Marigold became a royal advisor. Sorceresses gained influence. The king punished or exiled those who had plotted against him in his absence. They were, of course, soon replaced by others. Common folk saw no difference. They were too busy licking their wounds, seeking loved ones. Few people knew what had actually happened in those days in Vizima. They were those who destiny had brought together with Geralt of Rivia. Yet, they chose to remain silent. What then happened to the Witcher? That is a different tale entirely.
Temeria and Redania are allies, thanks in no small part to you. For your toil, a worthy pouch of gold. Your Highness. Master. Farewell, sire.